Okay, one of my subscribers contacted me about rebuilding a 508 stove. We're just cleaning it up, get it going. It says it will only burn in a very low setting, low flame. And come find out, he lives right here in the same county, the other side of the county. I'm on the south side of the county end, and he's on the north end. But uh, I met up with him. He's a real nice guy. Anyway, so we turned this thing. See what. We'll, See what's going on. Okay, he tells me he's had this stove a lot of years. I'm assuming he bought it new the way he talked. But uh, this is a 3 of 90. And uh, he said this thing's went on a lot of canoe trips with him. And I bet it has. All right, let's go ahead and turn into this thing. First thing we want to do is remove that fuel cap, release pressure. Let's go ahead and check this uh, cap gasket while we're here. Still had pressure in it, but that, that gasket's pretty hard, so that's going to have to come on out of there. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to remove these two screws from the uh, back side of the generator. Holds the bracket, holds the generator tightly in place. And I'm going to turn around, remove the generator nut. Gently lift up on that. I don't see the tip cleaner. Try to turn that out. It's not wanting to turn. I think a little bit of heat should do the trick. Okay, the uh, it is turning. Can't see it moving much, but it is it is raising up now. And I can feel it hit my finger as it comes up and down. Next, the uh, pot support will just lift off. Got one screw top center. Burner lifts right out of there. You don't know me. Put a piece of wire around there. Those are pretty rusty. Those are going in a vinegar bath. Okay, looks like somebody's worked on this before. I don't think that's factory. It doesn't look like a factory screw. It could be. But generally, it would have been a Phillips, I think. The 
yep that's been even been cut off it's been shortened all right should have uh, two more screws got one right here one on the opposite side I may have an original screw to go back in there one pretty close it'll look more original don't really matter it'll never be seen under there it done the trick it held it in place definitely done its job now that just lifts out you can see the uh, black under that burner bowl so that generator has not been tight and it has been uh, leaking this style of generators they're bad for that they will leak it around the generator and come up around the bowl if you don't if you don't get them in there tight you got to kind of bend these back down little clip on there it's a stop for that um, valve hit that as far as it go if it stops it should be able to just pry that off there get it side there and just kind of punch it yep just snaps on snaps off get that out of my way so I can get a good grip on that so handy don't have to use heat anymore okay Schrader valve is in here still got a good spring don't think the spring will ever go bad looks like there's a little what might have been an o-ring right here I may replace that it looks pretty worn We'll see. You need to use a common Schrader valve tool. Buy these at any Walmart. And Myers. Thread right out. I don't see no cracks in the seal on that, so I'm going to assume it's still good. see because it's flowing good I guess the only thing left is getting that check valve out you don't know I hate to see those but I knew that it was coming that's a plastic uh, pump cup I'll be replacing that with leather if I have one Okay, sorry for the noise of that compressor to kick off here in a minute. Right now, I'm going to take a torch. I'm going to heat up this uh, generator. See if there's any carbon buildup in there that I can break free. This just has a spring that's cooled through here. Hopefully, I can heat that up and break any loose of that carbon and flush it out with carburetor cleaner. Full. I see it coming out the other end. Blow it through one more time. Now 
I'm going to heat it again. Okay, that pump leather I had, the last one I had, I knew it's kind of raggedy looking, but I got to looking at it closer and pulled on it. That thing's cut, split wide open. So that's trash. It's my last one. So, um, I'm just off camera. I've got a video on these already. If you ain't seen it, you go back and look it up. But I've got a uh, pump leather mold I made here. I've got it in there. It's got to set up overnight, dry, and uh, I'll pull it out and I'll punch it in the morning. I come in from try that plastic pump cup. Let's put this back together just to see if it'll work. It may still have some life in it. Anyway, I'm gonna sure I don't have no debris on that. Uh, Raider valve. Put that back in there before I forget it. Everything else is in the vinegar bowl. Okay, that o ring original one was really thin. Not much left of it. The fuel soaking in it and being mashed, compressed all those years. So I put a new O-ring on there. Okay, I took that Schrader valve back out. Took that valve back off. I want to see if I can get a smaller one on there. Didn't want to take a chance on damaging that Schrader valve. Yeah, that was a much better fit. Okay, I've already got all my brass out of the vinegar bowl. The only thing I got left burning is the metal parts, the steel parts that are rusty. Boil them a little longer. Go ahead and clean this thing just a little bit. Keeping my finger over that bung. Don't want to get no glass cleaner down in the lantern. Fount. This is not a war brush, this is just a nylon brush. He's been frying bacon on this thing. It's covered with bacon grease. Let's try something different. Try lightly rubbing it with some alcohol. A little better. I think that generator is going to be good. I hope so. But if not, you know, I told him these uh, generators are really hard to find. Uh, you're lucky to find one for under 50 bucks. I've seen them go as high as 7500 Matter of fact, we got two left in my stash. I've sold two of these for $50 a piece. Traded one for a nice lantern. But uh, if something happens, this don't work. I'm going to hook you up, buddy. Okay, we're going to pull out one of my old rust buckets. See um, exactly how to turn that valve. Where to 
to clock it. Fuel pickup tube back in before we forget it. Make sure those threads and that's clean before I put that together. Okay, that old ring is going to work. I think that was a perfect size. That's where we need it. Let's put our valve stop back on. Actually, I don't think that's a valve stop. I think that's more of a heat shield. I'm guessing that keeps the heat off that red rubber. Yep, that'd be my guess. Okay. Next one, put the main bowl back on. Make sure we turn the hole toward the hole in the back of the frame back there. Okay. Put in our two side screws now. So put that about halfway in. Want to tighten it down a little over halfway. Get all of them in and lined up. I don't lose it first. And that homemade screw ain't getting along. Flush, the end of it's not tapered. Let's see if I can find a better. I think I found a replacement screw, perfect match. Got that in. We can go ahead and tighten our sides down. in got all 
my rings cleaned rust free one center screw to hold all the burner rings in Hot support and now our generator. This is the fun part to get these back where they don't leak because they want to spring open when you. Before I tighten it down, I want to try to press it back a little bit. Maybe. Just don't leave me much room. Just a hair. Like when I tighten the screws down, they'll be like spring, and you know, it'll spring in against that generator. It help with the check valve in first. That warm up just a bit.
She's a little cold natured, but she's gonna burn good. It's high. Simmer.